Pigeon. Pigeon. Got him. Oh my. Oh my god, did I take your head off? Yeah. I took your hat off? Yeah. Oh. Guys, we're in a big situation. We've been dealing with the situation for a minute. Bro, I, look at this. Do you think I'm gonna be able to get over it? You got four wheel drive. You got my the kicking truck, my, bro. My it's the kicking truck. This right. is full send. Yo. <laughs> yeah. I'm just it. worried about, I'm not worried about the truck. I'm uh, I think you're worried about the truck. I'm worried about the boat. I think you're worried about the truck. You know, this is a Ranger boat. Best they make, right? We good, dude. We good. That was easy. That was easy. I hit it right though. Go get right. the staples button. That was easy. This is, um, guys, we have been going, you don't even want to know how dirty the truck and boat is right now. It's Bradley on the track. Bro. I told Bradley, I was like, dude, I'll pay you, bro, if you can help me wash this thing. Because it is bad. But we're going to keep traveling back here. This is, ugh. <laughs> we got an interesting video for you guys today. It's going to be pretty bummed. Today we are out on the big boat. We're gonna be searching for some big bass. We're actually at a trophy lake. Live near me, you know exactly where I'm talking about, but it's got a ton of pressure. Um, there's been so many boats. We we saw how many boats? 20. 20, it is a ton of people in and out of this place, ton of people on the bank. I know it's been getting hit very hardcore. It's actually been opened up the last couple of weeks and I've never been here before. I've just heard stories about it. I've heard stories that there's really big fish in here. So we're gonna be going out today, trying to find those big fish. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, also hit the like button. You guys have been enjoying the content, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and hop into it. Hopefully search for some big bass. If you guys are wondering what this lake is filled with, it's got a lot of grass along the banks, got some hyacinth, got some hydrilla, got some lily pads, got some standing timber. What? Big bass central. Why are you shaking your head? Because it's, it's, it's just gonna be that good. Everything for big bass that you could ever think of. Um, but my worry is, like I said, there's so many boats out here. We got here a little late. You guys saw at the beginning of the episode, just we took the long route. Long story short, everybody that's at the boat ramp today took the short route. Me and Bradley literally took the trail of death into the middle of the woods with a ton of mud and it, it was just a situation, but we're here now and it's time to go fishing. Let me go ahead and show you what we have rigged up and then we're gonna hop right into the video and catch a big fish. It's your boy B-Rad on the track and I'm gonna throw this boy today. It is the Mega Bass Mag Draft with the magnet. 25 pound bag. I mean, it's gonna happen. Big bass energy, big bass mentality. Bro, what if we can get on a frog bite? See, a frog bite would be ideal. And see, there's little tiny patches of hyacinth. You got a bunch of little cops. See, that? it could be good. What if we get on a frog bite? What about sight fish? <sighs> Tell them what happened two nights ago. Two nights ago, we had a flood. And that is why all of this is high. See, usually it's all the way down to the edge of the cypress trees, but it's up on the bank. And all that new vegetation getting flooded, we're able to skip our baits in there and hopefully get us a river monster, but it's like monster version today. I'm just excited to get out on the boat, Bradley. You understand how long I've been? I was like, dude, there's no lakes to fish around us. Can you please tell people that too, since you're like a, you're, you live, you've lived here your whole life. All right, so the closest lake is two hours away, Santee, and that's it. Otherwise you're fishing Lake Mayor or you're fishing out here, which this is a disclosed, this is like top secret. I mean, it ain't top secret. It's top secret. There's only 20 boats out here today. No, there's only 20 boats, but I mean, this is the only lake out here. So one more question, and then we're going to hop right into it. Since there's 20 boats out, and they've probably been out here for like three hours, do you think we're still going to have a good chance of getting them if we figure out a just killer pattern? It's going to be rough. It's going to be a grind. That's the motto. Got to grind it out. So guys, we are about to tie on. Do not hit this one. <laughs> Do not hit this one. You're a Twinkie, dude. A Twinkie, no, bro. Why are you throwing my rod? Why are you throwing my rod, boy? Bro. Why you throwing my rod, throw my bro? Rod. Look in all the videos. Who's rod? <laughs> catching well, guys, we are going to take out one of these Six Sense Axis crankbaits, which are going to be back in soon. So I'm excited. I've actually never thrown one before. So I'm going to throw, I'm going to rig it up on my smash. This is like a bluegill pattern. If you guys look, it's metal bill. 
and it rotates as look at that that's why it's called the axis i'm actually excited about this i've never thrown one got a bunch of standing trees right here we're gonna try it around and uh see what we can do jerk bait or square bill that's a tough one i might change my mind bro i think we're gonna that I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try this real quick before I tie that on, guys. I gotta try jerk. Freaking winds pushing. Seems just really good. I jig it, catch him, boy. Let's have a 10 pounder grab this thing. Get the net. Get the net. Walk Throw up on that pipe. Skipping that pipe, bro. Just yeah, I saw that. <gasps> Did he just eat you? No. What just happened? Oh, dude, you're about to get hammered. Look at the bait right there. <gasps> yep. Oh, you, you didn't eat it all the way. I'll throw my sun jig in there. That was their first sign of life. Slaws working that dog, bro. <laughs> that was a small one. Yeah, like 12 inches. Six, 12 inches. Look at that. Oh my god, look at the bait fish. Dude, there's a lot of fish right here. It's gonna be different on top, bro. Get it down. Look, look at that. Dude, there's a lot of you fish right here. Right <laughs> Big him. Big him. Big him. Get him in the net. Mm. He ain't four, he's about three and a half. Guys, look at that. First fish today. That's not quite four, he's about three and a half. But look at the way he ate that frog. That's exactly what we're talking about today. That, that's what we need. Me and Bradley, he had a bite on a frog too. And we just saw a ton of bait right here. I think we're about to catch him, Bradley. Right here. I think we saw a bunch of movement. You, you were moving that? Yeah, and there's a bunch of movement, dude. There's a bunch of big fish right here. I stuck him, dude. That's why we take a three minute intermission. There we go. A solid three and a half sure. might be bigger than that that's a beautiful fish let's keep it going guys first fish today that's exactly how you want to catch him you gotta love it out on the boat we're gonna put together a big bag you gotta love that she was wild a second ago she's got a little picture of her she was flopping around release her right back in the water there she goes gone wow guys that is so refreshing right there i actually got yeah First fish, give, give me some, Bradley. That's good. We're, we're on track now. This is a good one, too. It wasn't a small one. Yeah, there's a ton of boats out today. A ton of people, a ton of kayaks, a ton of boats. We like it deep. But uh, to catch a fish like that, that's perfect. This wind just picked up. It was calm. I saw a bunch of fish chasing bait. I think it was a whole school of them, dude, personally. They were, dude, they were popping everywhere right here. It was good timing. I think we'll catch another one. The swim jig might get, get one done, but that is awesome. Catch first fish today solid almost four pounder that is awesome and i'm throwing the divine hybrid jig we're gonna see if we can get something done on it there's a lot of wind right here we've seen a lot of bait we've seen a lot of fish maybe we can get another one but i'm power pulled down um there he is oh my god oh my god dude i jerked the rod out of my hand bradley oh my god my swim bait's gone i promise you watch this oh no it's not because well, I have that screw lock, dude. He hammered me, dude. There's fish right here, dude. I'm telling you, we're sitting in the perfect spot. Like hammered me. Like <laughs> I could just see a 10 pounder coming out of the water and hitting this frog, just all slick and calm and quiet. And just bro, he looked small too when he kind of hit it first off, and then it was just four pounds. I was like, okay, we'll see. We know the when, when, when he out. ate it at first, I didn't think he was that big, and then all of a sudden, the boil, yeah, I saw it after. I was like, yeah. And that's when I hooked that's it. I got the, bro, I was like, I'm getting the net. Oh, I knew, I knew you needed to get the net on that one. He wasn't coming off, though. No, bro. I had him. I'll tell you in a bit. I'm about to slack a 10 pound. You better you. get the net. Bro, right. I was on the net job. You were on the net job. You were, you were on it. You want to go any closer? Oh. <laughs> Got him. Another big one. Oh, God. Right here, right here. It's about as big as the last. It might be bigger. Mm. That's, that's, big, that's bigger than the last one. 
All right, guys, second fish today, another big and on a frog. I'm telling you, this is about to get dirty. Me and Bradley know 30, 30. it's about to get dirty. We're moving up on this spot. It's very shallow. It's about two foot all around us. And there is a bunch of fish, so much grass, two foot of water. And we're seeing fish chase bait. We just came up on this. We're about to catch some more. You got to work this frog so slow. When you get a bite, it's a freaking big one right there. We're about to sack up a 20 pound bag quick. It's a lot bigger though. He did. He looked like five. Yeah, that's why I got the nuts. It's all right. Look, see him chasing bait. We're about to snap. We ain't gonna move from here. We just look. Get in this. Really? Oh my God. There ain't no way. Next cast? Uh, You're not big? What'd you catch him on? On the fluke? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Let's go, Bradley. Bradley's on board. That's not about a pound and a half. That's a good. That help. Look at that's a. He's dense, ain't he? Dense fish. I shouldn't have thrown him back in there. Oh my God! We're about to whack. Him. Yeah, we're gonna hold on. <gasps> oh, you got him, biggin? Oh, dude, it is a biggin. Oh my God! Bradley with his second fish. fish. Today on the old juice frog. Are you in the frog? That's a good one. That's about two and a half. Yeah. I thought he was bigger than that when he jumped. Too, bro. But still a good fish. We should catch him. You got the redemption on the other bass that blew up, so that's what matters. Old juice frog, old good bass. Good job, Bradley. Let's get back in there. Good job. I'm about to pick out a new frog. My other one is a is a little little done right now. I'm thinking the green frogs are the ones that's doing it. I'm gonna throw this one right here. Red frog. This time of year, dude. This time of year, the green ones. We are gonna cut off this frog. Like I said, sinking. I don't know why, but uh, caught too many fish on it. We're gonna tie on this brand new one right here. It's just regular green. It doesn't have orange on the belly how the other one did, which I wish it did. But that'll be all right. This time of year, the natural color frog. The, any yellows or greens or anything. Honestly, year round, like when you're throwing a frog. This color right here pretty good but I gotta do one little thing to it that's gonna be very important that you guys need to pay attention to so every time I get a frog and I think you guys should too it come the legs are always extra long you know I want to trim it down I try to start off with trimming less just so I don't mess up because I messed up so many times so guys here's the frog right here beautiful looking guy trimmed her down a bit I think it should be good now I can actually um we can start catching some fish because Bradley you know he just Bro, just don't know. <laughs> you Bro, just don't. He just. Fish. He just that's don't know what he's little, doing. I mean, he's missed his fish at least seventy-four Bro, times. Bradley, that, let me try. Let me try. Let me. Let me try, Bradley. Don't cast in on me. Let me try this one. You've had five. You've had five bites. Watch this. What if I snatch him first cast? And it's like an eight. Different fish because I caught that other one. That was a good cast. Dropping off on that. He's hit you how many times? Probably four or five. I don't know, the big ones seem to want it. Slow. Yeah. That's why I'm working it once I get to like an open touch. Dirt in it. I, I've seen a lot. Jeez. I thought that was a big one. Get her out. Get her out, Bradley. Get her on up here. Yes, sir. Yeah, she's a little small. That's so spawned out. Oh my God, look how skinny that fish is. Look at the marks from her fanon. Look at that. I don't even know if that's from her fan and dude. That looks like something got a hold of her. But you see how skinny she is? Dude, she's like literally nothing. That's probably the one that's been hitting you this whole time. There's a lot of fish over there, if, unless it's just been that guy the whole time. Look at that little bass. Look at his eyeballs pushing his head. That's weird. You know what I mean? It just feels like there's no fish. You know? Where'd you see a fish blow up? Oh, yeah, to the right of me. Some bait pop. Oh my god, did I take your head off? Yeah. I took your hat off? Yeah. Like I actually took it off. Right underneath my bill. I Yo, Bradley, that, that was actually a big fish too. Oh my god, hold up. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> you might eat it. That was a big fish. <laughs> god. Did it actually the, hit your hat? It went underneath. I ducked and it hit my head. I don't even want to leave this area and go try something new because I feel like we can just sack them. Why would we leave big fish to go try to find big fish, you know? <gasps> right here, right here. Oh my God, look at that wake. Oh my God, that was a mega. 
Dude, got him. Get him. Get the net. He's running so hard at me. Oh my gosh. This is a mega. <laughs> Dude, that's a five pounder. Oh my gosh. That's a five pounder. Hi. Oh my gosh. That's a five pounder. <laughs> dude uh, I'm gonna be honest I thought he was bigger dude I thought I had like a 7-8 pounder that's why I was like dude just get the net Bradley alright guys that is what we're talking about we're getting bigger and better look at that frog freaking 5 pounder guys we're gonna put the smack down on today I'm mega telling sack, you mega sack, mega oh. sack we already got we already got a really good 5 plus 2 three and a half. what's that that's 12 pounds right there with 3 fish that's a big one, dude. That's five pounder. I promise you that. Right there on a frog, I threw right up in this grass. This is the thing right now. Like I said, it's windy. Gotta we gotta we gotta find this calm pocket. So if you look over here, I threw right up on that grass, and you saw the biggest wake come under my frog. Came from I, out underneath the grass. He did. He did. Oh, and, I was uh, in my spot getting. They're in that calm area. But here you go, guys. Last thing. That's that's five pounder, Bradley. God, it's heavy fish too. Five yonders. Five yonder. Hold on, Bradley, before you hit it, let me let me get one good cast. Right there. See, that pocket looks good. See, that's that's more calm. Look at that, right there. You got him? Biggin? Pretty good one. Holy cow, do you need the net or you good? Oh my gosh. That's solid two and a half. Golly. Get him, Bradley. Got him. <laughs> Look at his mouth. Crawfish. What is it? Oh, yeah, it is. Wow. No, that's cool. That's interesting. That's a good that fish, is. though. Hold him up one more time so the fam can see. What is that? Fish number seven? Fish number seven. That was shortly after mine, guys. We're just. I saw him wake up behind mine. I stopped. Oh, did you? And... I'm not going to lie. That one seemed like he was. <laughs> it really did seem like that was like a 10 pounder. It was kind of crazy. But, guys, we, uh, you know, what we're doing. It's all two, two foot of water and the trick is you know you got to find these little tiny spots that have calm water because when we first got out here the wind wasn't up but now the wind's starting to come up a good bit and you know it's pushing as you guys can tell you don't you don't want to throw a frog at least from my experience and what i've tried you know me personally i don't catch them on a frog in wind i mean you can i'm not saying it's impossible but they're not going to eat you're not going to be on a killer frog bite in the wind that's just the truth of it but um, that's the little tricks that we're learning right now is, you know, the calm water. We need to be fishing that calm water. And that's where the big ones are holding. They're chasing bait up here. You got a bunch of shag getting pushed up. It's only two foot of water, ton of vegetation. Oh, that is crazy that fish had a crawfish in his mouth. Yeah. Over here smoking a frog too and eating shad. It's crazy, but we're gonna keep covering water, you know, fish some of this calm stuff. Hopefully put together some bigger ones. We got a five pounder today. We, we, <laughs> we got a bunch of good solid three to four pounders. Um, Bradley caught a bunch of those. He caught a couple good two and a halves. I mean, all I got to say is I think it's going to happen today. I, I think we really need that six to seven pound bite. It's just going to take patience and uh, covering water, right place, right time. But we're going to put it to work. I think one's coming under me. That's weird. Stuck in the grass. <clears throat> Oh, he ain't that big. He had grass on him. I'll get him up. That's all right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my dad. It's the same thing. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> Dang it. I'm sorry, dude. That's a pretty one. That's a pound and a half. That's two pounder. What am I saying? Same thing I, yeah. Two pounder. Same size. I was right. Right after we were talking, that one come up. That's what I'm saying, guys. This calm water. We are figuring them out. Bro, it's really getting good. Exactly. And I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think people are catching up today. Everybody's been telling us they're not getting bites on moving baits. They said it's all soft plastics. Bro, I think he's been like that. Yeah, I think he was like that from spawning. I don't know. All right. Well, pretty fish. Two, pretty two pounder. Pretty. Fish. I know they are quality ones. I like when they live yeah, in that grass. Anything happened because he got in the grass and I pulled him up. <laughs> and then I just like. It just came off. Yeah, I was just like bleeding now. You're bleeding now. Let me see. Now. Dude, I got you good. Is that from the fin of the fish? Yeah. That was just outstanding timing, right? Like, I had to be at the right place at the right time for that. <laughs> I'm throwing this Sanko, but... <laughs> I am not getting hit in the head again, bro. Like, I'm 
it down. That was that was so funny. <laughs> oh man. Oh, that's so funny. Midday update. We, uh, you know, we were catching them on a frog really good earlier. It's been about an hour since our last fish. Bradley's throwing a fluke. I'm throwing a clout by six cents. If you want to get 10% off, you can. And what we're doing is we're kind of fishing these little tiny pockets. I'm mean, I got some wind pushing up in it with all this grass. We haven't really had much luck. Um, we've seen some fish here and there, but we're just trying something new because we got that frog bite on lock and we know that we can catch some big fish with it, but I kind of want to see if we can try something new so we're gonna experiment for a little bit and I think later today me and Bradley were talking about it. once that sun starts to go down or about the last hour of the day I think that's gonna be prime for that frog bite so if we can figure out like a different pattern then I think we'll be golden but it's, it's kind of difficult you know this place has been getting beat up there's been a ton of boats out today that have covered this whole place before we got here but I mean that didn't really stop us on the frog bite so I'm curious we're just gonna keep on throwing some soft plastics around and see if we can hook into another salon daddy funny because they won't eat anything else but a frog but if you're not working it the right way then you're not going to get bit you know kind of weird. they want it really slow it's weird that's just a through hole bro imagine fishing the other side that's a good one um i'm gonna boat flip them There we go. Solid two and a half. That's how you want him to eat the frog right there. That's beautiful. It's a good fish. It's crazy, man. He wasn't even hooked that well. Hammer it. You gotta work that thing so slow. That's solid two and a half pounder. You agree on that one? That's a beautiful fish. Really healthy. You, you can tell they're really thin though. That's the thing with that, but he's got a thick head, thick body, beautiful fish. And back here in the same spot, it's crazy guys. Cause the people out here today are struggling. Are struggling. And the people I talk to, you know, they're, they're throwing soft plastics, they're throwing it slow. Let me tell you, the best bite that we've had today has been on the frog, hands down. But the thing is, you have to work it so slow, and we were talking about it, it has to be slow. If that frog's not slow, you're not getting bit. And um, right there, that's what it gets you. And that is a beautiful bass right there. We're going to get her right back in the water. And uh, I just know we can get that six, seven pounder today. We just got to stay confident, keep covering water, hopefully catch another fish. But the bites are coming in, we're just going to have to keep covering water. There she goes. Wallet. Oh, he's in the slot. I think I still got him on. <laughs> That's what you call catching a fish in the slop. Look at that. That is a bunch of nasty grass. He hammered. That was probably the best frog bite all day, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. That's another two and a half. Look yeah. at him chasing bait. My frog's like right there. Oh my God. So my frog goes under get it. Oh, is that where that, that just hit right by your frog? Look at that, another beautiful, about two, two and a half pounder. Freaking awesome. Look at that mark on him. Dude, Man. that fish hammered that. Now, shortly after that other one, they're not as big as the ones we were catching earlier, but that is still, you know, just a beautiful quality bass. All right, girl, thank you so much for biting. She's slimy. I'm gonna give her a little, little slip -roo. That was the best hit by far. It hit it like that one hit mine, babe. Dude, that was a big hit, bro. <laughs> Guys, this is insane. And we just came right behind a guy that came in here. He actually watches the channel, really nice guy. He came in. God, wee, that was a big one. Oh my God. Oh my God. Dude, that was a freaking hoss. Holy cow, his body came out of the water, dude. We get, we get, we got this pattern on lock. That was another giant, wasn't it? Bro, I was reeling it real slow. Why are you reeling it? Because, bro, I saw him waking a different fish and there was one tailing me. That was a different fish that hit me than the one that hit me. I don't know what we're doing right. Oh my God. Holy cow, Brad. Hey, hustle him, hustle him. You need a net? How big is he? Oh, dude, that's a giant. That's four plus. Get her in the net. Oh my god, that might be a five. There's a lot of grass on it. Yo, that's a five. Oh my god, that's a six. 
<laughs> oh my god. She's a five pounder. She ain't six. Ayana. That right there, Bradley. We missed about three fish in the matter of what 30 seconds that were about that size. We're gonna keep catching them. We don't need to hold them up one more time. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, good freaking job. That was good. We got a sec. Got a bunch of grass, a bunch of slop, got a bunch of cypress trees, got some hyacinth. We're about to Sounds go. like Big Bass Central to me. It looks like Big Bass Central. And the, and the places that we found today have been obviously the places that have, you know, zero to no wind. It's kind of tucked behind. And this one in particular, we haven't really tried anything like this. You know, we got a bunch of shade here. Um, and we've been working with this frog bite. I just saw a bass swimming around. I don't know if he's still over there. Um, right around some of those cypress knees next to the hyson. And uh, the biggest thing that we've saw is the lake is a little flooded. If you can get all the way in the back, that's the key. So I'm gonna beam a cast back here. Let's see if we can uh, hook up on big camera. All right, one thing I noticed, you see this little spot? See how this tree's coming down? Should be a fish there. Right there. Skip it right on up there. This frog bite's been so slow, I'm trying to keep it calm. Let's do this. We're gonna beam one up on this right-hand side. On these cypress knees. Oh my gosh. That's money. That's, I think that's the cast out of anything in here. That's probably the cast. Gosh, dude, that was insane. That was insane. Ugh. Dude, that was freaking cool right there. That was one of the coolest shots I think I've ever got. Just with my eyes, I don't know if you saw it, Bradley, he shot from the left-hand side and ate that frog. Look at how she ate it right there. Beautiful markings, beautiful lateral line on that bass. Not a giant, but that was one of the coolest catches I think I've ever captured on big camera. That was freaking dope, man. That was dope. We called our shots there, got her on the frog. She zooted towards that thing. She didn't even think about it. She just went right towards it and ate it. Now that, it's a beautiful fish, about a pound and a half, thick, chunky head. Let's get her right back in the water. That's exactly what we want. What a beautiful fish. That's what you gotta love. Yeah, I know. Oh my gosh, Bradley, I'm in a money hole right now. Oh, I got her, dude. Is she, I didn't even move the frog, dude. We finding them up in the slop, guys. Oh my god. This is right when Bradley shut off that camera. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Guys, these fish up in the slop right here. This is this is awesome. You know, we tried a new area. We haven't found any found any of the big bigs yet, but you know, we, we found some fish and there's fish in the area, and that's always important, especially where this water's flooded. Look at the colors on that one, Bradley. Even better. It's Pretty well. Now. It's beautiful. Get you right back in the water, buddy. Thank you so much. I didn't even move my frog. I cast it up there, it was just sitting there. He dove over it and I hook set and he was already down in the slot because I waited a good second. He felt so big. He felt bigger than that five pounder I caught her. 